All right, gonna do a packing video on my Jujube BFF in the Royal Envy print. And before I start, I have to say, um, since you're gonna be seeing my hand, my nails are pretty jacked up. Just ignore them. I've been sick lately, and my nails are usually always either clean or done nicely, so ignore that. I'm not usually that sloppy. Anyways, so we'll start with the back. Um, lately I've been using the backpack straps. Um, I kind of go back and forth between my preference between that and the messenger strap, but currently it's backpack straps. So in the back here, I just have the change pad that it comes with. And then I keep his shot record back here and kind of gets beat up back there <laughs> because the bag is constantly changing shape and all that, but still good. Um, I like to keep it there because it is really easy to grab while I'm holding my son at the doctor's office and they ask for that and just reach in there and grab it out really quick. No biggie. And then on the side here I have his sippy cup which just so happened to match the bag which is awesome. And then here in the mom's pocket I have the small set piece is what I'm using as my wallet currently because my other wallet is really big and it's just bulky and then I'm trying to find things to shove in it so to fill it up and so I'm realizing I really don't need a big wallet so this is perfect and just has my debit card all the important cards insurance cards all that good stuff in there um, some stamps Hair ties and there's change at the bottom. Right there I keep just a pack of Kleenex, the travel pack of Kleenex. Because we live in Tucson and the weather's always changing so it makes your allergies act up constantly so you never know. And then I've got a pen there. And then there's his sunglasses. By the way, my son is 11 months, so I don't know if that helps telling you that for how I'm packing, but, well, he's about to be 11 months, so. And then here, this super pretty bag I got from, it's a uh, Bare Minerals Makeups kit that I bought during the holidays one year. It's like a special edition bag or something. Anyways, I used to be a hairstylist before I became a stay-at-home mom, so... I keep my shears and the comb with me at all times because my family is always constantly asking for haircuts so that way I always have it because I never know when they're going to ask. They don't like to ask ahead of time, they like to ask while I'm there so I'm prepared. And then here I just have two little baby lips, the tinted. I'm honestly not a big fan of those, by the way. Everyone makes a huge deal about them. I don't see why they're so great. I don't like them. Anyways, in this pocket, most people keep their phones, but I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and it's huge, and it does not fit in here. It's too wide this way, and it's too long, too, so. Instead, I keep a couple hair ties and two of the EOS lip balms, and also my spare key. And then in the main pocket, by the way, I'm not staring at the screen, so if I get out of focus and I'm like cutting things off, my apologies. Anyways, my sunglasses. And then here I have the medium set piece. Oh, large set piece, sorry. Just kidding. I can get it open with my left hand. There we go. In here, I currently don't have a whole lot in here. Um, I just have a onesie and a pair of socks. Um, I'm constantly changing the way I pack, so currently this is how I have it packed. But um, and then I keep the strap in there. Sometimes I don't want to take the whole diaper bag in with me somewhere, like um, so I can just put whatever things I do absolutely need throw it in there, put the long strap on, throw it over my shoulder, and there you go. That's part of the reason why I love Jujubee so much. There's so much versatility. 
and there's like a bajillion ways to use everything and it's awesome and also all these set pieces and then the quick it makes it so much easier to pack more in there and keep it organized so it's not just shoved in there so you can pack a whole bunch in here and it's not overstuffed or unorganized sloppy whatever it looks nice and pretty and this is the be quick which is pretty similar to the large set piece. Um, it, it's more deep and it's a little taller so it holds a little more but they're pretty similar. But we cloth diaper so I have the flip diapering system in here. I have two. Um, at home we use uh, apple cheeks cloth diapers and they're the cutest things ever and I'm kind of obsessed so Sorry, Flip. You've got put on diaper bag duty. Sorry. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. And then bag of wipes. And then this pocket back here. My left hand is not very usable, so. But if I held the f my camera with the left hand, it would be all shaky and weird, so. Anyways. Um, I have the Diaper Buddy, which is the same as the Medi Buddy, but it's um, for diapering stuff. And so I took, I needed that case for something else, so I put all the stuff that was in the Diaper Buddy and put it in here. So let me grab that stuff first. Here's, um, see there's soothing cream and then there's also sunscreen. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's the uh, flushable wipes and then it came with these disposable bags and then I keep these little containers of coconut oil which happen to kind of leak out and so everything's nice and oily in there but anyways um, I put that in there before I had a, a travel size diaper cream to put in but um, there's so many uses for coconut oil, it's always good to have on you. I mean, I could even put it in my hair if my I get start getting flyaways or my hair is dry. Whatever. Bajillion uses. And then, let's see, it leaked all over. Anyways, this is a CJ's butter. Um, I got the sample set so that I could have the lid, these little jars like all over my house so that I'm not running to the other room to get diaper cream. Um, but this one is in the monkey fart scent and it smells amazing. It's like a Banana, coconutty. The stuff is amazing. Anyways, and then also right here, um, I don't keep any pictures or anything in here. Um, in fact, all I have is the coupon that I use to purchase this bag. So, not coupon. Sorry, the receipt from purchasing this bag in there. Don't know why I keep it in there. It's just where I put it. Sometimes I'll put coupons in there too. So, in this front bag here. I have all these, um, uh, my mind just went blank, oh no, uh, the uh, disposable placemats. And then also I have a bib, which is the paint's all cracked, but um, my fiance is a diehard Cowboys fan and he went to the Cowboys Stadium and took a tour and while I was pregnant and he came back and brought some stuff for the baby. And this was one of them, so keep that in there. And then here is the medium set piece. It's got the little strap. So this could easily be like a little purse also. <coughs> Sorry if you hear my dogs making all kinds of noise. I have them outside so they're not bugging me for this, but um, this I use as um, like a first aid kit, whatever. Like the big stuff that doesn't fit in the Medi Buddy goes in here. So I have these packs, um, these cooling packs. They're for fevers, but they probably will work well since we live in super hot Tucson. So it'll be great once he's um, running around and uh, going to the park and stuff and it gets really hot. I can use those to cool him down or for whatever. Um, just a cheap thermometer travel size stick of sunscreen, heating tablets, 
alcohol wipes, nail clippers, and children's Tylenol. And then the side. This one is the one that was the diaper buddy. And I keep his baby mom's in here because they get um, broken really easily. So I keep them in there to keep them protected. And uh, we mainly just keep this for like when I'm grocery shopping um, and he gets bored. I'll hand him these. Or wherever we are and he gets bored. And then this one is the Muddy Buddy. Just comes with all kinds of, well it comes with stickers and then all kinds of different um, band-aids. So one time use thermometer, um, a bunch of different ointments and stuff and then I added this is an eye ointment. <clears throat> and then the baby Q-tips. And then back here, I just have two packs of um, baby food. Um, he doesn't usually eat baby food. I just either nurse him or share my food with him. But um, he doesn't like to nurse in public. He gets too distracted and so excited watching everything going on. Even if I go to the car, he's still too distracted. So make sure I nurse him a lot before we leave and then when we get home. Um, and then if we're gone for a long time, I give him these. And I like these squeezy kind because you don't need a spoon. You just feed him directly from it. So, And they're the organic kind. Yummy flavors. And then in this part, I have all my different wipes. So I've got the gumdrop pacifier wipes. Um, he doesn't really use pacifiers, except for, like, he uses it more as a toy than for soothing, but either way, still need to wipe them off. And then I'll use it on, like, his um, sippy cup because it sits there. These kind don't come with a lid, so just to wipe them off beforehand. And then um, this pack of boogie wipes um, was like leftover ones. I got the big giant tub of them, so I just stuck these in here. And then the regular travel pack. And travel pack of wet ones. Because, I mean, you always need that stuff, so. Um, and then the extra pack of baby wipes down at the bottom. And then in here I just have like a little teething toy. in this case. Um, it's got all these like little nubby things on it so it cleans their their gums and it probably feels good too. So, And then the little strap to keep him from throwing it because he's in that stage right now. And, um, I just have extra diaper bags in there. The disposable bags. And that's it. And if you can see my big pile right here, you see how much stuff fit in this bag and it's a pretty average I would say average size maybe slightly bigger than average diaper bag and it fits so much in there it's insane and with all the, the quick and the B set it keeps everything neat and organized without overstuffing so love it